guys, welcome to the channel. Thomas here, Scuba Travel and Adventure. Today in a video, I'll show you a couple things that I bought from Quadlock. Even though I have been using Quadlock case and amount for quite some time on my Africa Twin, I decided to add the wireless charger and the vibration damper for my phone. I will be getting a Google Pixel uh, 6 Pro. The, 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 the camera on that phone, what I read, is a little bit finicky, probably similar to the iPhone. What many has experienced uh, when riding off-road, the iPhone camera got damaged. So I decided to protect myself and get the vibration damper. Today, in a, from Amazon, I have purchased that Quadlock charging base, and I will put that on a bike. I'll show you how it's done. And also the vibration damper so first thing what i'll show you while i'm here at home i will show you the package content i'll talk a bit about quality of it it's all uh, the charging base supposed to be fully waterproof so let's not waste any more time and jump into this video So first thing what I'll do, I'll open the packages and I'll show you the content of it. So you got your instruction guide and mounting guide. I don't think that's really needed because that's pretty straightforward. And then once you slide it open, first thing is the actual wireless charging base. And that is fully waterproof according to Quadlock. They've upgraded the design because the previous one, they it had a pretty low sitting uh, USB type C charging port that wasn't sealing all the way. So now it looks like they extended it, which is great. And it's got a LED indicator here, the power button in the back if you need it. I don't know if that powers off by itself or you have to turn it on every time. I will find out once I get it on the bike. And then you get one shorter USB type C cable. And this cable actually is, looks like it has a weather seals on it, which is pretty good. That goes into the, oops, into the charging port here. Yeah, and it's sitting nice and tight, so there's no chance for no chance for any water or moisture getting in there. That's a nice design. Also, you get a longer cable. Depends where is your charging port or 12 volt adapter uh, located on your motorcycle. Inside here, you get a couple zip ties, Allen key to mount the charging base. So you got actually four zip ties and a long screw that will go through the charging port to the uh, bracket on your motorcycle. So that's all the contents, uh, what you see here. So going about this, so it's good, it looks like it's got nice cooling aluminum. So it's built of, out of aluminum by the looks of it. Uh, they will take the heat away uh, from the heating and uh, so that should be pretty good. And the whole mechanism is pretty much moving here. So so it's fully waterproof. It's, you got an LED light as I mentioned before. It looks like it's built quite solid. So very nicely built product. All right and the next thing is the vibration damper for motorcycles. So you really want to use that for the phones that have uh, the new cameras uh, and it's most likely that uh, zoom camera that's uh, causing the problem on most of the phones. So when we open this, what we get inside here, just the damper itself. As expected, um, Quadlock makes uh, pretty good quality products. Uh, so you got those little rubber cushions that absorb the vibration and they are actually pretty flexible. So that uh, looks like, a, and all, just to mention that the screws, they even apply the thread lock on them. So that's a good thing. So you don't have to worry about that. And instruction guide as well. So this is it for the quad lock and uh, I'll get into the garage and I'll show you how to mount this. 
So currently I have the regular quad lock on a Africa Twin on my mount. So I'm gonna remove that one. And we're gonna install the vibration damper in its place. And then on top of the damper, we put in the new wireless charging base. So that will make it a little bit more bulky by the looks of it to me. And she's installed. That's pretty simple. Okay, so I moved the mount a bit forward and a little bit uh, the GPS to the right side. So now that should give me enough room to put in the phone. Let's give it a try. So you basically you pull that back first and then you attach your phone on top of it and then it's sitting on your vibration dumper. Okay, so at this point we gotta add the power and I have purchased on Amazon Anchor 24 watt uh, dual charging port. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough uh, to power up the quick charger. Uh, we'll find out actually. I can show you the link actually right here to this uh, little adapter, but uh, we'll determine if I need something else more powerful because there's also one that uh, has a 36 watts. All right, so this is the Anchor uh, 24 watts and it's beautiful because it's made out of uh, aluminum so the quality of this is pretty good and let's give that a shot if we're gonna be able to power that up it's got those little ceiling rubbers on the sides that goes into the socket here so I don't think it's a quick charging because it says that it's going to take an hour and 53 minutes until full charge, which is, I guess, okay. Uh, there's another model that I looked on Amazon that has 36 watts, and I can show you. I'm going to buy that one, actually, and, uh, but for the meanwhile, this one is going to be fine. So if I go to Amazon, I actually have it in my bucket. So there's two different ones. Uh, there is the U Green, which is a 36 watts dual charger. It's also made out of aluminum. There is this one here. It's a Noip USB charger. It's also uh, 36 watts at six amps and it supports fast charger. So that's, uh, that would be another option. I hope you're gonna be able to see that if not, I'll put the links down below in the description of the video if you are interested. So it looks like the quick char like the wireless charger is working fine. I don't have to have the cable going in here anymore. It's coming from the back, which is nice. So there's one more thing I want to try to make sure that it's not obstructing. No, I can do a full lock on both sides. Yep. Let's try to remove it one more time. So pull it back, tilt it sideways. Sweet. So quick charger is okay uh, if you want to charge it, uh, your phone really quickly. But at the same time, when you're using a slow charger, that's also benefit the battery of your device. Uh, it's not gonna destroy it as quickly. Uh, that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, but I will get it just if I ever want to swap it for a quick charge. You know, they're not that expensive. They're like 20 bucks or something like that. So it's okay to have a second one. So that's a pretty simple install. There is not really much to it. Uh, anybody can figure it out, but I figure I show you how that looks on uh, Africa Twin. Uh, and I'm using the RAM mounts with the extensions with the, sh the shortest ones. So if you are on a market for something, if you have an iPhone with the camera that can possibly get damaged uh, uh, when you are riding off-road, uh, there's so many reports that the new phones are 
not as good as their, uh, for example, this guy here, like that's a Samsung Note 10 Plus. With this phone, I never ever had any problems so far and uh, I'm expecting to get uh, within a couple of days Google Pixel 6 Pro. So that's, uh, that's gonna have the new technology with that. Uh, and those lenses, um, they have a little vibration mechanism on them and that's why they fail. So um, this, this mount is supposed to uh, take the impact uh, of any bumps uh, when you are riding off-road. I don't think that makes uh, really that much of a difference uh, when you are on a highway, but uh, when you're on a dirt, I'm pretty sure um, everything is vibrating on a bike. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and you can always comment down below. Thank you.